Alright, ready. Alright. 325 on the bench, pounds. I'm not sure what that is in KG. 148, something like that. I don't know. 350 divided by, or sorry, 325 divided by 2.2. But wow, I am very, very surprised at how easy that felt. Um, so much so that I tried a third rep, which probably shouldn't have done, but I don't know. I mean, I watched the video and I was like, keep going, don't stop. But I kind of knew I wasn't going to get it when I went for it, but I figured, all right, if I just get a good attempt in, get my body to feel it, then, you know, maybe the next time I try it, it'll, it'll be, um, it'll be there. But yeah, I mean, uh, it was close. Like that third rep was, was pretty close. I think if I had a spotter, you know, get maybe 10 pounds of assist, but no spotter. So it's all good. Um, that's a big PR for me though, because I did 320 for two. It was a little while ago now. And the second rep was really, really tough. So that was two reps. I wouldn't say easy, but I would say you know what I mean? Like how easy it felt. Like it didn't feel easy, but it felt um, easier than I thought it would. So let's uh, let's check the weight, and then we're going to take a stab at the old 275 for 10 challenge. Maybe one day we'll get, or maybe not. Maybe my uh, top end strength will just continue to increase, and we will never get 275 for 10. I'm just kidding. We'll get it. Maybe today. Who knows? Probably not after failing a rep like that. Let's see what the body body weight is. Hopefully above 205. Hey, starting to get there. Been putting in the work with the food, but I've still been walking. You know, we walked. Uh, I walked yesterday a lot, twice I think, and then today already did two miles. Um, so getting the cardio in, you know, it's good for the heart. Um, I'm gonna rest it a little bit, and then we'll go 275, slow and controlled. See if we can knock out eight or more. But I thought about doing another set. Thought about doing a set with 315, um, but I figured take my victory, like really, really happy how that felt. And of course, a failed rep does very well on the social media because people think you're going to snap your snap your tendons up, but no such luck. Sorry about that, but it'll lead for a good thumbnail. <laughs> Sorry, I hope, I hope the true followers don't mind that. It's just the video does so much better when it appears that I, I've failed. Um, that's just how it is, I guess. I don't how the algorithm works, whatever. Um, I would just put a regular picture, but that tends to not do very well. So trying to learn the whole YouTube game here. All right, I'm gonna rest another couple minutes and we'll go for it. Oh, let me show you the workout. What was I doing? I almost didn't show you. Yeah, so we did the 325 for two, almost three. Now we're gonna go 275, two sets on the incline. We're gonna do some incline flies to be determined what weight and then some uh, tricep work probably. <sighs> Getting easier. All right. Bench, feeling really good. I think the body weight, that slight increase, you know, 205 to 207 something, I mean, def definitely makes a difference in the in the power on the bench. You know, when you're when you're depleting and you're you're dropping body weight, less than optimal for uh, strength for sure. I mean, you don't want to just bulk up and get to, you know, ridiculous body fat. That's not gonna like at a certain point, that probably isn't gonna help. I don't really know though. I mean, there's been some strong men that have just bulked and gotten stronger with it, you know? Um, but I think, you know, in general, there's exceptions somewhere in between, you know, like if you're super, super lean, then it's probably more challenging to retain strength all the time. Right. Um, another thing that, uh, Leonidas talks about with, uh, how he did a cut recently and got like super, super shredded. And he said, like, I don't encourage that anyone do this. Um, I don't even know what body fat he got to. Like, very low. But just, just to say, like, I, I notice a little bit of extra strength with that, you know, two pounds. Might seem silly, but just the way the 325 moved and the way it was like, if I, if I committed better, you know, ah, could have gotten the three, but whatever. Um, two, was, two was a big PR in and of itself. So we'll get, we'll get three eventually. Making me think though that that uh, three thirty for two next week might be might be doable. I don't know. Um, 
we'll see. If what you're doing is working, why, why would you change it, right? All right, 205 here, see what we can do. I think in the second set, then I figure we'll go right into the flies, um, and then we'll do some uh, skull crushers, probably. I don't want to let those skull crushers slip. I've been building them up. I was considering going back to the flat ones, just to try and start knocking out the 60s again. But uh, I don't know. I might give that a shot today. I really like the incline ones. I feel like they've helped my bench a lot, so I kind of, I don't know. I'm torn, you know? Maybe I could do... Hmm. Maybe I could try 55s on the incline skull crush. It's kind of a compromise there. Oh, boy. Let's go. I don't know. A, a solo bench PR is so satisfying because I used to work out at the gym. And, like, well, I still work out at a gym, but now it's my gym. Um, but people would always be spotting, like, really close, which is great. Like, that's the way to do it, you know. Um, but sometimes I'd be like, hey, did you help? And they're like, no, no, I swear, I swear. And I'd be like, I don't know, like, I saw you. <laughs> of course, they're just trying to be nice. But I'm like, I want to know what I can do, not what I can do with 10% help from somebody, you know. All right, second set. <sighs> Trying to make those triceps work. That's good. Had a lot of victories on the bench today. Take our victories. Anybody else trying to walk in any uh, bench PRs today? Drop in the comments. What are you going for? Remember, everybody's goal, whatever it is, even if it's a 135 bench, there was a point in time when I couldn't bench 135. I mean, big plate. Nope. There was a time when I could not figure out how to deadlift. Somebody, somebody's trying to show me, and I just couldn't figure out how to get my uh, lower back flat. Still working on it, but like I was just all rounded over and could not, could not for the life of me figure it out. So wherever you're at, it's all good. Just what's the next step? You know, don't be afraid to take a video of your form. Obviously, I do this for YouTube, but it's so helpful to go back and critique because I really tried to pause, like good pause. That second rep with 325, I did with the first one, but it was kind of a quick pause. The second one was like slowed down because on 315 last week, I was going a little too quick and didn't feel like they were really good pause reps. So, you know, if I didn't have the video, all I'd have to go off was how did it feel? It doesn't matter how it felt, it matters how it actually looked, how it moved, you know, because it's deceptive. That's why it's good to record your warm up sometimes on squats and deadlifts. Many a time, that's given me the confidence to do what I plan to do. Like when I went for 600 on deadlifts, my last warm up of 495 was just flying. And if I do say so myself, <sighs> a 
What is this monstrosity going by? Let me guess. A pickup truck. Yep. Cool. All right. <clears throat> anyway, when I saw that warm up, like it felt good, but then I watched it and I was like, oh, it's done. You know, it moved so much faster than 495 the week before. I was like, we got it today. So it just gave me that confidence, you know, that it was there that day. So a lot of good reasons to record some of your sets. Not everything, like, you know, unless you're concerned about something, like if you're worried about your form on a movement, that's a good reason to. Um, and if you just want to post it online, I mean, do it. It's a good way to, for accountability, you know, start posting things online. People start giving you some support, but also it's kind of like a, people start to think, oh, you know, so-and-so is posting their workout every day. They start to check back, you know, it's not so much the weight, I think, that draws the interest. It's like the consistency and seeing someone progress regardless of where they're at. Like, it's cool to see someone bench 600 pounds, but if they just post one video of them doing 600 pounds and then nothing for a year, okay, I mean, did they lose strength? Did they gain strength? Like, what was going on, you know? Um, people like to see, and myself included, they like to see progress, you know, going in the right direction, regardless of the starting point. Just my opinion there. So, yeah, don't... Uh, don't be afraid to record your, well, it depends on where you are, because if you're in a public gym, maybe you're not allowed to. I don't know. I'm, I'm lucky to uh, be able to record all my sets. Um, but if you're somewhere where you can record and you, you know, you want to know how the form is. Um, when I went to that gym on vacation, I just asked, there was somebody in the background. And I was like, Hey, my friend, like, is it okay if I record? And he was like, Oh yeah, dude, I don't care. Like do whatever you want. And I was like, all right, I just, you know, you're going to be in a video. Like, are you okay with this? I don't know if that's, you know, I don't really know what the gym etiquette is now because I haven't uh, been to a gym in a while. That's first time in like four years. So, all right, enough of that. We're going to get some crushes in. Hey, even if we get one rep, PR is a PR. 55s, I'm hoping for five to six because these dumbbells are obviously a little differently shaped than the 52, 53-ish ones. Um, and then we'll probably get a drop set in. And then that is it till tomorrow. But yeah, feeling good. Slow and steady. <sighs> Hope I have enough room. Those were good, but I want to take my victory because those you get a little pressure going in the shoulder joint. Nothing bad, nothing to write home about, but I had many successes today. So, all right, if we get 10 here, I'll be happy and then we'll call it. And I did do a warm up set of band press downs. I actually remember to do the warm up. Um, so that helped the uh, shoulders feel a lot better. You know what, real quick, I'm going to do, I'm going to bring you over here, sorry for the uh, camera movement, but we're going to do one set of these, Whew. and we'll rest it. Just the elbows were starting to get tight, um, and I don't want to end the workout on that note you know what i mean get some blood flow in there tendons don't get as much blood flow as muscles that's why you can run into tendonitis issue well actually the reason is just because sometimes we're guilty of 
increasing weight or overusing tendons. It's not, it's not the tendon's fault. It's just that people push their uh, bodies a little bit beyond sometimes, you know, and the muscle continues to grow. <sighs> All right. That is it. Calling it. <sighs> Thank you so much for joining the video. Also, I think three or four people commented the uh, keyword Godzilla from last video, which was, I said, just at the end. If you made it to the end, please comment Godzilla. Um, but if you made it to the end of this video, please comment which Godzilla is your favorite. Mine, personally, probably have to go with the Brian Cranston one, the 2014. I do like the Matthew Broderick Godzilla, and I also like the Godzilla 2000 because I went to, see, went to that movie with my dad, so that was a cool you know, experience, good memory. I don't know how the special effects were in that movie, but it was a good movie. Um, so yeah, probably Godzilla 2014, though, the actual movie itself. That one was my favorite. Um, so yeah, that's it for today. We're going to knock out some back and biceps tomorrow. Should be absolutely epic. I'm very excited about it. I'm going to go get some calories in, and hopefully we can see 208 on the scale, or maybe even 209 PSY operator. I'm doing my best. Um, thanks for the push there. Somebody commented, like, I thought you were going to be at 210. I did also, but we've been walking, and I could, I could do better with the food, so we're going we're gonna to get some more calories in. We did good today, did well today, pardon me. Um, so, you know, we're going in the right direction. And that bench, feeling good about the bench. 365, I think, end of the year. Maybe we'll actually get a spot for that one, or maybe not. I never have a spot anyway, so why would I got to stay in, stay in my zone, right? All right, that's it. Really appreciate the support. Hope you're having a great day. And like I said, comment your favorite Godzilla movie if you made it to the end of the video. Till tomorrow, peace. Oh, and don't forget to get a workout in. Or maybe you already are, or maybe you're going to do one later. Either way, peace.